In the previous video, we identified the wreckage as that of a Su-30 MKI, due to short time and multiple events in the conflict involving different military equipment, and mistakenly recognized the engine in the wreckage as AL-31F, due to the distinct blue coloration on the engine's exterior. However, one detail triggered the correction, the size of the engine compared to a human being in the video. After all, the Su-30 is a massive fighter jet. Upon closer inspection of the wreckage, there is also something very puzzling. The engine had six vanes, a feature typically found in the Atar-9 engine, which powers Pakistani Mirage fighter jets. But the presence of two engines in the scene ruled out the single-engine Mirage. That meant it could be a twin-engine aircraft in service with the Indian Air Force, as Pakistan Air Force has all single-engine fighter jets. We considered other options. It could be a Jaguar or a MiG-29 Fulcrum, but not the Su-30, as we were mistaken earlier. With HD footage available of RD-33 engine, a comparison of engine element was made, and the resemblance was striking. One particular pipe matched exactly, with identical joint alignment and position. Additionally, the point where the engine broke matched the joint section, likely due to the impact with the ground. Now this is a cross-section of an RD-33 engine, the nose part also matches here. A distinct box-like structure seen in the wreckage is also present in reference images of the RD-33 engine. The exterior pattern of the engine also matches exactly the same. Now, the next big question arises, could this be a JF-17 engine, the RD-93, a derivative of the RD-33? Technically, the rear section of this wreckage includes part of the aircraft's body over the engine, which is only visible in the MiG-29 when viewed from the bottom. In contrast, the JF-17's engine is housed inside within the fuselage, and any impact would likely leave wreckage showing wings and tail sections near the engine, none of which are present here. Additionally, reports confirmed that this was a beyond visual range engagement, reducing the likelihood of one Air Force's jet landing in the other's territory. A crucial piece of evidence is the K-36DM ejection seat found at the site. Both the IAF, Su-30, and MiG-29 use this seat, while the JF-17 uses the Martin Baker ejection seat. As for the question of whether this video is old, Interestingly, an Indian soldier can be seen clearly speaking on camera without any audio overlay, indicating that this was indeed an Indian fighter jet that was shot down. This matches events from the current conflict. In conclusion, the wreckage is neither of a Su-30 MKI nor of a PAF Mirage, but that of an IAF MiG-29 UPG as claimed by the PF among other kills.